Hello there, family and friends and... Nope, I think that's it. No one else is going to see this video. It is I, Goose Duckworth, back at it again as promised Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. I would never lie to all of you, so let's get right into it. A fly in a web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. Sure, I'll take your word for it. Really? Spaghetti monster? That looks like a noodly fella. That was a noodly fella. With Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Mm hmm. One of my least favorite types of enemies. The all noodly ones that uh, contort and chase you around in interesting ways. I'd rather just be chased by something that has a definitive shape. But that's just me. Sup, Poppy? Wake up. I'll consider it. So... I was under the impression that uh, this game has something to do with Poppy. I stumbled upon her in the first chapter at the very end. And that's right here. But she didn't kill me, clearly. She just seems to have left. And probably knocked me out on her way out, I assume? But this chapter doesn't seem like it's about her. It's about that noodly fella. Bron, my man. When do I find Bron? Surely he's not an enemy. He's a nice guy. Look how happy he is. Brontosauruses are herbivores anyway. No. No, Boogie Bot, what have they done to you? Doesn't matter, I need you for something. Never mind, uh. Wait there, don't let Ludwig out of there. Wall's talking to me. Not the first time that's happened either. Okay, so I just swing across. Okay. I could see that being fun. I could also see that being very inconvenient if I have to run away from someone and do that in the middle of it. My boy. <laughs> what? Need a That's what a huggy sounds like. Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. Hmm. I really Don't thought he would sound a little friend. more menacing than that. I'll you until you... Whoa. Whoa. You can't say that to me. Okay, yeah, you stay there. We gotta make this look like an accident. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, somebody stacked up these drums here when they weren't supposed to. And they just fell over. He was standing here and the drums fell on him. You know, it's a typical workplace accident. I'm sure OSHA has seen this a thousand times. They won't even question it. I just gotta get out of here and hope that these giant hands don't leave fingerprints. Sorry, Huggy. Not really, but sorry. That didn't work, but it doesn't need to. Onward! Still there. Thanks for guarding it. I'm thinking this key goes here. Yes, it does. Ooh, Daisy. I have not seen Daisy yet. Brown. Brown.
Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... Ah, 19. Yeah, that was a bad year for wine. I remember it. Nice drawings, though. Well, this one at least. Not a huge fan of this one. I don't really like Candy Cat. I used to, but not a fan. Did I find a secret? Oh. Well, that's clearly where it wants me to go. But I don't want to go there. I found a better place to go. I'm commandeering this vessel. We are going to get up into this vent. What is wrong with this film grain? This looks horrible. Can I get rid of that? Why is my resolution wrong? Why is everything wrong? Hmm. Maybe should have checked that before starting. Can I just... I don't want motion blur. I don't want that. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Can we get up? We cannot. Whatever. What is that? Experiment 81N? Maybe? 7? N? Something. A live rat. Rat was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a poppy flower and preservative gel mixture. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat, still in the gel, in an attempt to revive it. The rat remained unresponsive. Really? I still believe in the potential of the poppy flower. Its unusual properties led, to me, led me to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. The po poppy flower has for a long time carried heavy symbolism. I don't believe that's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. What did this guy submerge? A person, perhaps? Okay, well, on we go. Well, Sorry. hi there. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Aren't you supposed to be the bad guy? Fight me, coward! No electrocutor. Or not. Whatever. Where does this go? Right in there. Oh, that's the light. That's where it goes. Station. As soon as you get on up here. <laughs> okay, why is there a train station in the middle of a toy factory? And why is Poppy hey, not the bad I'm guy? Here. Or are you the bad guy? <laughs> you lead me into a trap. Yeah, no bad guy's ever done that. Okay, well. If I get trapped, I guess that's just the way it was meant to be. Whoop.
Oh, is there gonna be a jump scare from down there? Listen, I'm going. It looks to like it would be a good place. Me. Whoa! <laughs> okay, yes, there is. Oh, down I go, I guess. What is this? Oh, I'm in like a water slide. Without water. Uh, I guess that would just be a slide, wouldn't it? Okay then. Can't go back up one. My immersion is broken. I've always been able to go up slides. Okay, what's in the power room? Sir! I'm guessing that blue pipe has something to do with this. You think this is some sort of a game? Okay. Then I'll go around this one. Go around here. Hmm. Can I not jump over this? There we go. Now where did that go? Follow the fuse. Game station. I thought she said train station. Guess it did have a picture of a train up there. Oh well. It's my hand. Please. Oh god, I need a tourniquet. I'm bleeding out. Oh, that door closed. Uh, I guess I just stay here. Not a hand. While my stub where a hand used to be bleeds out. I think it'd be more fun that way. The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. You're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules. I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> Alrighty then. I don't have my red hand. Oh, I guess I don't need it. What is this? You poor soul. I wish I could put you out of your misery. But the best I can do, if that doesn't kill you, nothing will. Oh, it must be this thing. A giant centipede? Okay, so I've seen Huggy. What's your name? You refer to yourself as Mommy. I'll just, I'm not gonna call you that. Oh, there's a pink one too? Interesting. So are they not all, like, on the same side here? Because... Noodly fella there did not seem to be too fond of Poppy. I would love to see them all fight each other. Okay, so it says game station, but there is a train, so it seems to be a train station as well. I don't see any games though, that's not what these are. So, somebody did not properly name it. What have we here? That could be fun, but I will push this button instead. Okay, well, you saw what happened last time somebody said that to me. Now, how am I going to make this one look like an accident? I think I know. Come here. Finding myself in far too many situations lately where I have to drag bodies around a train station. This is not the first time. All right, come on in. Okay, so yeah, played on this, went a little too fast and fell off and died. 
It happens. I've seen it happen. Green hand. I do not have a green hand. Interesting. Oh, it's the pink one. You lied to me. What say you? No, it's not. You know what? Another workplace accident. Come on. You guys are making my job really difficult. And I can't just allow you to get away with it, otherwise everyone will do that. Lying is not acceptable. So, what's going on with this one? Um... Can I get in here? Not really. Okay, so here's... Uh, here's what I'm thinking. She stood too close to the edge here. Train came in, hit her, knocked her over, she's dead. Okay. Foolproof plan, no one can figure that one out. Hi kids, welcome to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit. There's no games here. It's all empty. Oh, it's a door. I guess that makes sense. Not really, but it explains why nothing was there. I know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> oh, you better hope I don't get over there. You are dead. I mean, I'm sure I do get over there, but you better hope I don't get there before forgetting. Nobody lies to me. Nobody. Except for everyone in this building. So here's a little pro tip. When you find a hole in the ground, you want to drop a ladder down at first to... Oh, that's the ground. I thought that was just dust. Never mind. Well, I guess I'll tell you anyway. You drop a ladder down. If there's anyone at the bottom, it'll give him a concussion, and then you have a chance to jump down and take him out. Pro tip. From the guy who can't get through a hole in the wall. Okay, what have we here? green tape. That's promising. I, I do kind of want the green hand. Kind of need that for the train. Temporarily hold electricity, so it's just a big capacitor. Gotcha. Ten seconds. Ten seconds is all I've ever needed. get the green hand must be this button here uh-huh beads for what well oh, there's hands are we making new hands here is that what's going on Kind of what it looks like. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, I think I see. Yep, gotta pull this guy. There we go. The molding room. That makes sense. That's not really how I would do that. Seems fairly wasteful. paint, I see. Uh, 
Oh, that must be the way to paint. How convenient for it to open just as I need it to. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, box. More important than box, a new hand. That is not a green hand, that is a gold hand. Okay, we have paint. We have broken legs. Just like that, we're out of there. Oh, you, I haven't forgotten. You got my birthday wrong. Now, what am I gonna do with you? I think you know. Come on. Hmm. You know what? That's a door. That's probably gonna close. I'm just gonna leave you right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hope you learned your lesson. So what is this? Welcome to Musical Memory. Oh, I hate this these games. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to... I always stop paying attention halfway through. Brain, ...allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. I guess it's only four colors. colors. That shouldn't be too and you hard. Must recreate the exact sequence it's still annoying. Using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo That's creepy. will rise back up. When you I'm glad I killed you in the door, creep. Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. I am not a fan. Oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy hasn't seen the place I've been running in years. Please stop calling yourself oh, that. Only imagine how it's starting to creep me out, dude. Sir, back off. I see. Okay. Blue. 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 Red. Blue. Red. Blue. Red. Red. Blue. Red. Red. Blue. Red. Red. Blue, red, red, blue. Blue, red, red, blue, green. Blue, red, red, blue, green. Round two. How many rounds are there? Red. Red. Red, yellow. Red, yellow. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue, green. Red, yellow, blue, green. Red, yellow, blue, green, green. Red, yellow, blue, green, green. Red, yellow, blue, green, green, violet. What? Red, yellow, blue, green, green? Oh, there's a new one. Are these all gonna fill up? Because I don't think I can keep track of that. Oh, another one. Orange. Orange white. Uh-oh. Orange white. Orange white green. Orange white green. Orange white green yellow. Orange white green yellow. Orange white green yellow violet. 
orange, white, green, yellow, violet. Orange, white, green, yellow, violet, white. Orange, white, green, yellow, violet, white. Okay. Can this please be over? Yeah, I can do that. J what? Oh, okay. Blue J heart. Blue J heart pie. Blue J heart pie pie. Blue J heart high high question mark. Round five. What? Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> It nearly broke me. For doing the bunny such go. A splendid job. Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Look up. What have we here? That's not a code. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. I don't like what's happening here. I swear to God, if I get like a mommy fetish because of this game, I'm going to be furious. Yeah, why wouldn't that happen? Oh, hey, you're the guy I killed. Sorry about that. Workplace accident. Couldn't have avoided it. Bye, friend. How much I go through these vents, I'm starting to think I might be the bad guy. It's so peaceful in here. It was. What's going on back there? None of my business. What have we here? A toy store? Damaged? Same! Sir poops a lot? Also same! Come on. You're coming with You can wait. We got a bra in here. Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question. Click again for the punchline. <laughs> Bron, tread very carefully. You don't want to upset me. What do you call a dino with one eye? You call him Bron. Uh, do oh. you think he saw us? <laughs> yeah. What Get do you call there. a dinosaur who No, Sir Poops a lot. I'm gonna need you to do your thing right now, and I'm gonna need you to do it a lot. No, on top of him. On top of him. No, on top. You know what? You, come. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pull them all then. One of them will land on Bron. There we go. Take care of business. I don't want to hear from him again, ever. Now, what was I doing? Before that dinosaur upset me. Ooh, a gold thing. That I cannot take for some reason. Reject. Man, these shelves really hitting me personally here. Too scary for young children. Yeah, I can see that. What's this guy? Kick me, Paul. Nobody likes him. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Oh, Bron. Hello there. I thought you'd be bigger. Words I've heard a few too many times. Robot toy. I like him personally. Shut up. Wait a minute. 
management has decided to go with mommy long legs. So it's this orange robot toy? But she's not orange, she's pink. Okay, well, whatever I guess. Oh, a tape! Okay, what do I do with this power? Oh, hi, Bron. Can I hit the button with it? Bron, get off. You're too heavy. You're ruining everything. What's this do? Power, but it didn't do... Oh, like this? Nope, you're still too heavy. Whatever, let's watch the tape. Hey, sure poops a lot. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. And I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here to the freaking island of Misfit Toy! He's an angry elf. Why do I talk to myself? Interesting. So, you guys are all misfits. I need to get Bron off of there. But how? Oh, claw. Okay. I guess that's how? I'm guessing power is necessary for it? Oh. I, I think I know how to get this gold thing. I'm guessing the claw. That is not lined up right. Come on, claw, a little bit back. That should be close enough. Get the power. You Bunzo. Okay, Bron. Since you won't move on your own, I'm going to force you to move. Oh, come on. It is. That's right on him. Maybe this time. Okay, that should be fine. Let's go. Doesn't look like anything up there. What have we here? Power, that's power. Um, okay. Let me see. Wait. I think I know what I have to do. No, probably not that. Like this. Up here, I let go. There we go. Now what have we in this direction? Really? You think steam can scare me? I've played on EA Origin. I've seen things. I've experienced things that you couldn't possibly imagine. This chair looks like it's being used to hold this door closed. So, I'm a little worried about what might be in here. Bunzo and a hole in the wall. Oh, this is where I came from. Okay, I'm back at the game station or whatever. Cool. You're supposed to be dead. Please die. Okay, there we go. What have we next? Whoa, you did fantastic. 
I did okay. Permission to be this smart. My mom. Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm oh. sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wago Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Okay, so we need color and order to put those in. Whack a wuggy. I think we can handle that. I see a lot more hands. What's the point of this room? Why did that break my legs? Can I get up there? Why is this room here? I'm confused. There's got to be a reason for this room, right? Hmm. How odd. Maybe not. I don't know. That's weird. Whack a wuggy. It's all sand. I hate it. It's coarse. Welcome to Whack a Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. I see. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. I That's don't like all. this. Good luck. At least it's bright. Eh, a couple of these might be hard to see. But for the most part, I can see them. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them. So they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. I assure you I will not and it got dark. Oh, I can hear them. Is he up there? I hear them all over, but I can't see any of them. Did he just growl at me? It is so hard to see these things. I think I'm gonna lose this unless this stops real soon. Getting a little hard to keep track of. Who's growling at me? They're so hard to see. I don't know if it's going to come through on the video, but... I don't know what that says. Get up. I will. Let's try that again. The toys in this game used to have... I know. Them ...so they could be pulled back when they got too close... Why is it so smoky in here? I don't think I'm going to. Let's try that again. Stop watching me.
These things should not be this hard to see. It's a little unfair. This nightmare just end. Oh, okay. At least they do growl when they're getting ready to jump at you. Sure did. First try, even. Hooray! Mommy is so proud of you. You didn't sound very proud. You sounded rather Mommy upset. Hint for you. Oh. Okay. I thought that might be the way out, but Mommy, I guess not. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, lady. Oh, that is the way out. Okay. So do they really have kids traveling through all these tunnels to play these games? Wait, aren't they in a toy factory? It doesn't feel like what this is. And up we go. Hey, candy Push cat. The button to feed me candy. Okay. Nom, nom. Feed me more. Nom, nom, nom. I'm gonna feed you all the candy. More, more candy. I'm never gonna nom, stop, nom, man. Nom. All of it. <laughs> okay, no more candy. My tummy mm, nope. full. Nope, too late. Nom, nom, You're nom. getting all of it. I said no more. And I said yes, nom, nom, nom. more. No. Yikes. Blood sugar got to him. You know what we have to do. Workplace accidents. Get some every time. Okay. I'm just gonna move on as if I didn't commit another murder. Into the back rooms, it appears. Who else would paint their walls yellow? What am I supposed to do? Everywhere's blocked. The lever over here. Oh. Well, hi, Huggy Wuggy. You gonna be my friend? Oh, no, you're different. You're a pink one. Hi. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, that might be a problem. Oh, okay. I guess you're nice. Wait, come back. I want to be friends. Uh oh, my friend's gone. I found a new friend. Come on, my boy Barry. So I just have to get you through all this. Who are you, Barry, and why do you matter? Nope, can't go that way. Huh. Oh, 
Pull the lever, Kronk. Come on, Barry. We're going on an adventure. I need a more power. Wow, the exact same puzzle twice. That definitely could have stumped me. But are we going to see a third attempt? Okay, this one's a little different. Before I do this, blue tape. That Jack Septa guy? I think it is. Looks like him. Oh, not at all, sir. Oh yeah, that's him. <laughs> so, good for Sean. What happened? Made it into Poppy See, Playtime. I was heading home for the day when my He's moving on up in the world. In the so I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I happen to bloody know what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. Mr. Spadicey tried to warn us, but they wouldn't listen to him because he has a funny accent. I get that. Okay, what have we here? Do that. Too easy. Come on, Barry. We're going on an adventure. Do not enter. Is this an incinerator? Barry, I hope you didn't hear that. Because... Yeah, I don't think you can handle what's about to happen to you. I'm not sure I can handle knowing that I did this to you. I changed my mind. Come back. Well, he's gone. Okay. Oh. See, they always strategically place the ladder next to these. Because they know that it's the best strat. Guy got a concussion, I jump down to squish him. And then... Slap him repeatedly till he laughs himself to death. Okay. Back up to the train station or the game station or. Don't like this person. Actually, you, you must be that pink thing that just opened the door for me. I'm not going to spare you, though. Like I bet you say that to all the sentient hands. Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next nope. time. Nope. I've had a miserable day. Oh yeah? I have to do it from this angle. Nope. Two hands maybe? <gasps> Heave! Yeah, that's doing it. Perfect. Weird cotton candy centipede. Not a fan. Not a fan. What's this? Like a 3D printer? Interesting. Hungry to learn. Oh, you are weird. 
You do want to play with PJ? You sound weird. PJ. Or Bug. Gary Miller? Yeah. on all four hundred. I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Do you have some bones for PJ? Sorry, I'm fresh out of bones. Brown, brown. You guys know the drill. This time, even if they do catch me, I have a defense. He was trying to eat my bones. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? What's up here? Power's up here. What does this do? Okay, gives me somewhere to jump up there. Makes sense. Why isn't it working? Oh, okay. It just is weird. What did that do? Oh, I hear a lot of feet. That is an unsettling sound, knowing what I know. What? That was weird. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. Okay, so it's just you red light, green again light. Once the lights turn back off. Oh, I see a, the lovable a something. PJ, PJ. will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. Mm -hmm. That's all. Good luck. Not a fan of this guy. Oh, what's up, Noodle Mama? There was a time when I might have agreed, but not anymore. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. Uh huh. I don't follow that logic. I'm not the one who left you alone to. I should not be running. What if I do just run when the lights are on? What happens? Does PJ just get really fast? Jesus. <laughs> I didn't move. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure I didn't break any rules there. It it said that I can't move. It didn't say that I can't shoot my hand off. I did it again. Okay. He's cheating. I didn't have that option. Why do I feel like he's right behind me? He's got to be close. I feel like these intervals are uh, not consistent.
Oh yeah, he's there. He's coming. Time to check. I still hear him. I feel like this was not where I was. No, maybe it is. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna trust the noodle monster that just said that I deserve to die. the stages of grief she'll probably oh she'll, <laughs> yeah she'll probably go through all of them by the time she finds me I'm sure it'll be fine okay well then upward and onward we go Is there a green tape anywhere around here? I don't see one. What a shame. Maybe I'll find it doing whatever there is to do here. Okay, bay two. Or how does this work? Rotate. Okay, I guess I'll go over to Bay 2. Any tapes? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, maybe, the, maybe I won't find this tape. I don't know. I see. Do cats like honey? To be or not to be? That is the question. You better be real careful with what you say next. You and I were meant to be. I warned you. It didn't have to be this way. I'm going to throw you off the edge. Okay, I'm gonna go to the top and then we'll throw you off the edge. What is this? Button. This guy, let's keep going up. Can I get another one? Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go up to the top and then throw you away. Oh. It's Barry! My boy's alive! Okay, how am I gonna do this? I don't know. Come. Oh, I can't jump off? Can I just push you off? If I go down a little bit. Am I not allowed over here? Well, that's a real shame.
Come on. I'll have to find somewhere else to kill you. This could be a good place. Oh, you're stuck. Whatever. I think I made my point. So it's the no green tape over here. No green tape. Nowhere. I see. If I were a green tape, where would I be? Eh, whatever. Probably not worth wasting time looking for it. What is that? Anything useful? Mommy long legs. Hostility is quickly becoming a problematic. Yes, I would agree. Okay. After this room, I guess we go back to the game station. Didn't get the last part of the code though, so... Problematic, though I suppose I could just trial and error it. Oh. Do not enter. Don't tell me what to do. All right, what have we here? We need power to that. Hi. Nope, I'm busy. Okay, we need a red tape. I don't know where that might be. I guess I went the wrong way. I had a 50-50 chance. Of the itsy bitsy spider playing right now. Okay, so that's power to get to that thing over there. This must be power to get to that. So, does that over there open the door? How do I get this? Perfect. So hit that. And run around. Bada boom, bada bing. And we're in business. Was there a red tape in here? I don't see one. Oh, it's in there. Can I still get that? All right, let's see what's on TV. Following is a okay. pre-recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist, and that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways, end quote. Good way to look at it. You can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs. Okay. I guess that's what I'll do. I'm just back to work after 10 years or whatever it was. Where am I supposed to go? I guess here. This looks like a jump scare hallway. Now what's about to happen here? It's gotta be, right? Yep. I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! Oh 
Okay. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Do I have to actually find a place to hide? What if I just run instead? What's she gonna do? I'm faster than her. Good to know. Okay, so she doesn't actually come look for me? It doesn't seem like she does. Good, because I didn't really want to hide anyway. Oh, a little stutter there. That makes me feel like something is about to happen. What is the point of this area? Alrighty then. Not very good at this hide and seek game. Like she's not even looking for me. No, let me let me have it. Oh thank God. Okay. I would hate to lose a collectible like that. I'm in. Okay, or don't. What a long hallways. It's a little uh, sketchy. What is this? What is that? What is up here? Oh, I see. Red. Blue. Green. Something else. I think it's yellow. Okay, red. Blue. Green. And yellow. I see. Oh, that's not good. Did she go through that uh, little doorway I came from? Oh, maybe up here. Up we go. safe. I think it's safe. Okay. So that's, that's something. What have we here? Power. a gear. Okay. Did I just make one? Yes, I did. That makes sense. Is there a way down? Can I accidentally fall down? Do not enter. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I changed my mind. I'm going to run into the incinerator. That sounds like the safest place to be. And hopefully she does not turn it on. Is she gone? I think she's gone. Okay, so she's just gonna keep doing that. That's gonna be annoying. Again. Back to the incinerator. Keep that hand away from me. Oh, incinerator's blocked. I guess that's the way it is. 
does she have? Oh. oh. Let me up. She sounds very close. Can she bridge that gap? That's a pretty far jump. Open, open, open. Okay. I think I lost her. I hope I lost her. It looks like I'm run running straight towards her. Come on. Oh, open. Let me through. Hurry up. that oh that's uh that's that thing I saw in the tape the very last tape of chapter one there's like a really long skeleton hand thing huh. yeah I think I thought it was like a there was in a sore hand it looked like one is that what he uh, did the experiment on after the rats failed That'd be my guess. Put your guess in the comment section below. Moing? Okay, well, guess we're done with her. Ooh, a tape. Hey, there's the hand again. 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence Paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Huggy Wuggy. So it's just like almost like an alternate universe of SCP. Kind of feels like it. Okay. I never got the code. I just activate it from up here instead. Oh, there's the code. Hi, Poppy. Did you, kill her? Good. you sound different. Okay. Sound angry. What did I just pick up? Formal request form. I don't know if you've ever spent yada yada. What is this? And windows! I think that's the whole message there. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Okay. Uh, I guess this way. There be some windows. Down the slide we go. Okay, hop on this train and get out of here. So what have we? First, we gotta have Floppy Boy at the front. Then, red, yellow, red, blue. Red, yellow, red, blue. And then three, two, four, one. Three, two, four, one. Cool, let's go. So, where does this take me? I would not think that a toy factory would have a train that leads to the outside world like this. If it was like a real train that went real places, it would not be a big toy. So, I'm curious where I'm going to end up. Obviously, this is not the end of the game. Chapter 3 coming out soon. Or I don't know. Maybe my train gets ambushed by uh, Mr. Scissorhands. Or someone else. We still haven't seen Bron. So Bron could knock this train off. Case, but you saved me. Sure did. You are perfect. Too I get that a lot. Ah. I can't let you leave. So Poppy is evil. I, I never knew met it. Anyone like you. <laughs> do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Can't well, say I do. Too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you are capable. We will. What? Is what? Am I about to be ambushed? Train's got a good tune to it. they have a train this steep or a track this steep if the train couldn't handle it seems like they were just asking for that to happen Is that insurance fraud something gonna rip the door off and pull me out what's going on no nothing interesting I was kind of expecting there to be a teaser or something for chapter 3 but that's fine not spoiling anything, I guess. And the same old credits that I love watching so much. So I guess this is a good time. Oh, there it is. John... John... Sean Jack Septiguy McLathlin himself. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, if you've made it to this point, I would imagine you have. Otherwise, there's something wrong with you. So please do subscribe if you want to see uh, Chapter 3 whenever that comes out, and other things. I do other things as well. The same things, but in different games. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one, and Godspeed, Goslings.